Hello and welcome to the Hello. Geek Economy Podcast episode 167. We're getting up there. We're getting up there. Hope you guys all having a good evening. Good whenever you're listening to this. Uh, yeah, we're back. We Guess we're back. finally in studio. I think it's been a month. I feel like it's, I know, it's, been, it's been in been here. Way too long. Went too long. So um, I was just sitting there thinking, are we, we going to reach to episode 200 this year? I don't think we're quite going to get there. I don't. Well, what? So math is not our strong suit. No, because that would be like 33 episodes. That'd be 33 weeks. Yeah, that's more. Yeah. Yeah. We're past. <laughs> we're, yeah. We're, we're definitely not going to hit it by no, the end of the year. Unless we do another 12 episodes in December. Yeah. That, <laughs> yeah oh, yeah. Yeah. That's not going to happen. So <laughs> thank you guys so much. Uh, we're going to talk about a lot of fun stuff tonight. Uh, I want to mention our Patreon members, Larry, Samson, Steve, Bud, Omar, Delivery Cats, who I haven't heard from in a long time. I Delivery know. Cats, reach out. Jamie, Frank, Joe, and Nate. Appreciate you guys so much. Um, if you want to join all the fun, we are doing a Patreon live stream tonight after the show. Yep. Uh, go to patreon.com slash the GigaCon podcast. And if you're not already already a supporter, you can go there to patreon.com slash GigaCon podcast. Sign up, and then you can still do it tonight. You can still yeah. listen tonight. Yeah, so. and uh, Frank, if you're listening, I'm in the process of getting your shirt. I'm actually going to buy some equipment. We're going to start making some of our own stuff, not just for the show, but other things. I have not done that yet, but I found a new lady, and she's working on it. So in the next two weeks, she's going to get me a shirt, and Leo, too. I owe him a T-shirt, too. So What I want to know is how much do you have to work on it for her to give you a shirt? <laughs> Well, I mean, I just you sent said, her the logo. Said, I found I, I found a new lady, and she's working on it. She's gonna get me a shirt. Well, I mean, well, what is it? She's got to work on for you to get. She's shirt. gonna work on the shirt. <laughs> oh, that was okay. a terrible joke. Fine, I know. You completely tore it apart. Uh, I just sent out a newsletter today. I don't know if you received it. I received. I didn't. I didn't read it. But well, thank it. you for that. Well, um, I haven't had a chance. I've been working all day. You how know? can people sign up for the newsletter? They can go to geekeconomyshow.com and sign up for the newsletter right there. It's a quarterly newsletter, so I I fulfilled my promise. July, <laughs> there you go. I did one, and then August, September, October, November, December, and then I'll do one in January. I send out. I've, I think I've sent out thirty thirty newsletters this year so far. What do you mean? Yeah, the, the notifications. Oh the yeah. Podcast. Oh, that's a newsletter. <laughs> that's real hard. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys want to join us on Telegram, this is an app we use to chat while we're out working. Um, I will not be working this weekend. I don't think Jesper is Me either. Neither. No. No. But so, next weekend I will. Yeah, he doesn't talk anyways because we talk shit about you that when you're is not, not working. True. I talk almost all the time. Yeah. Okay. Yes, but uh, we talk shit about you when you're not driving. That's so, good. Well, um, at least give you something to talk about. Yeah, join the group. We've got a few new peeps in there. Haven't really talked much. It's totally fine if you want to be a lurker. Uh, it's a place to learn and just uh, have some water cooler talk because you know this job can get very lonely. So the link is in the description. Absolutely. Uh, news news from the road. Did you change that? It wasn't it supposed to be stories from the road. I don't know. I don't know. Stories from the road. I drove this past weekend. Uh, the quest was terrible. Uh, what did we, what did we settle on that it was? Uh, hold on. I know you guys love it when I <laughs> look at pictures. So I can find it. Oh, it it's five dollars less this week because you showed me. I was a hundred and five for fifty trips. So I went out and did it. I did the fifty trips. Okay. Uh, and I made. I think I finished off the weekend. In 14 and a half hours, I made 550 bucks. That's not bad. It's not bad. I don't, no. not bad at all. I had, do I the had math on that still. Yeah, it, it, it's not bad at all. I mean, it wasn't my 750, but I also worked 10 more hours. Well, there you go. That, that I did the 60 rides. Right. So I was like, 10 more hours. I'm like, I don't know. I, I thought that was okay. Um, I don't have really any like, stories. Like with everything else, though, as long as you reach your own goal, you're doing fine. I mean, my goal was the quest. Right. Well, there you, know, you go. That's your goal. If I made, yeah, I didn't have a money goal. I was just like, right. hit this, get my bonus. And I, thankfully, I did 37 trips on Saturday. Saturday is, if you do 12 hours on Saturday, you, you would do it. I was got, not quite 12, but I worked, I worked like one thirty to like 1130. Okay. So, but yeah, it was, it was grinding. I did some, um, 
some food delivery with that. Okay. Had a couple good ass food deliveries. Nice. Uh, just like ten, fifteen dollar orders. Just so your grub hut uh, box out there was all fancy and nice. Again, did you clean that up and use it? Do you really think I use a hot bag anymore? Do you think I give a fuck anymore? <laughs> yes, about... I think you give a fuck. No, I don't use a hot bag anymore. You oh. guys can all throw me in the trash, <laughs> but I've never gotten any complaint. So oh, okay. I also don't take triple orders. There you go. Hey, I do have to point something out there. We have a viewer that whose name I've never recognized before, Glitch Dash, uh, from YouTube. He's on YouTube, and I just want to welcome you. Uh, as I said, maybe you uh, have seen us before. I don't know. I just don't recognize the name. He's commented. Uh, he and he subscribed to the show, so oh, appreciate. Nice. I don't. I don't know if he's commented on a live stream, but I've seen his his name before. So I'm not sure what Glitch Dash is. If you are a gig worker or creator, I yep. would love to have you on the show. Re reach uh, out to us. Come talk to us, and yeah, absolutely share all your stories and share show who share who you're about. Who I can't talk at all. Yes, sure. Sure. It's starting to drink already. So I had a stressful day, and I don't want to talk about it. So nobody start, you know, give me prodding questions because <laughs> I'm not going to talk about it. No math and no geography, and please. This is whiskey. Yes. So I want to talk about a new app. I put this under stories because I think it was good. And I got to thank John from North Carolina, who is a supporter of ours and just an all around fucking good ass guy. He has a podcast called the uh, I Can Complain podcast. I thought it was. Which I, I don't give a fuck. That too. I'm so <laughs> far behind on his episodes too. I feel bad. But anyways, he he, uh, I downloaded this app. It's called Proxy Picks. Okay. Say that five times fast. So basically what you do is you go to buildings and you take pictures. Like I think it's for potential buyers or maybe insurance companies that are going to okay. insure these commercial buildings. And you go out and you do the pictures. It might be inside. It might be just okay. outside. Uh, but they pay roughly a, a dollar a picture, okay. uh, depending on what the order requests. So uh, I don't Johnson. know if you know it, but um, quite often when you sign up for a new home insurance, somebody will come out and take pictures of your home to make sure it's yeah. good quality. So that might be what it is. Yeah, absolutely. It's something like that. The The two requests that I got were um, commercial ones, but it's there's a pretty extensive training thing you have to go through, and I haven't done it yet. Um, just like, what? Oh, you 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 used it. You made money on it, but you haven't. No, 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 no. I haven't. I haven't made any money. Okay, <laughs> that money was from what John had told me, and I don't think I he's actually you. done one either. Okay, because excuse me, he sleeps during the day, and it's during the day most of the requests. But I had. Well, a, yeah, you gotta have day well, pictures. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, yeah. I never thought about the light in the dark. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> You're outside. Hey guys, this one work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't see the quality Sorry. of the roof, but the roof is there. Right? I turn the flash on. Hopefully that works for you. <laughs> yeah. Um. I, I just wonder how picky they are because, like, I talked about uh, – remember the Lime Scooter capade that I got into? And I, I don't think I would have continued doing it, but what it really shut it down is how terrible the app was. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, or how – like, it just didn't work. So I always worry in these pictures are like, you know, the angle is not quite right. Like, how many times am I have to take this shot mm -hmm. before it gets credited as a good shot? Right, but, right, right. hey, it's something that you can do. Um Check it out, Proxy Picks. The apps, at the uh, the app actually worked for me, not like InDrive, which still says I'm not connected to the internet for some fucking reason. Okay, that one we talked about last yep. week. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's called Proxy Picks. Hmm. Um, I guess I could have got it for referral code, but I didn't really care at this point. When but, they give me, I'll, I'll sign up for it. I use your referral code. I'm, yeah, I might use it. I mean, it's a good way to make money. It's, I mean, yeah, you have to have a car to get there, but I mean, it's there's not a ton of wear and tear, and I'm always looking for extra ways to make money. So you say it's about a dollar a picture you take. I mean, John said that it was like for fifty yeah. pictures, it was fifty bucks. So to me, I just but you know. is that uh, is that just the first fifty? And how far do you have to drive to take fifty? I mean, yeah. do you take? I mean, that, I think there's a lot of things going into that. I, I'll definitely look into it. The weird thing is, is like I get notifications that there's available things, and I go in there, and it doesn't show. And I think it's like you have to do this training right uh, before. Um, it says I have 4,263 hours and 55 minutes to complete the training. Well, it's also known as they don't give a fuck as to where yeah. you complete the training. Well, I mean, I don't think you can. I, I think they're sending, they're like teasing me with like, hey, we have jobs, right. which would be great for me because like there are, there's like, I have three hours in the morning where I'm just home, just right. not doing anything. I don't think you can just take pictures of your wiener. I don't think that's a, <laughs> I see. I got that. Oh, <laughs> I was. Oh, I, I wasn't. Oh. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think it's that kind of pictures they're looking for. You're right. <laughs> no one wants to see that, anyways. I've tried. Uh, 
There's a comeback. Bringing it back around. Uh, uh, Larry doesn't use a hot bag anymore either. So I just, yeah. I, I don't either, but I also don't yeah. get ever. But anyways, check it out. Proxy picks. Check it out. So, so. and. And in the coming weeks, we will have a referral code in the in the in our show. So I well, I'm sure there's no money involved. But <laughs> why, why wouldn't that be? I don't know. The really the only referral code that's really worked well for us is Octopus. Right. People love that. I mean, it's so simple to make money on that. I keep hearing so many positive comments about that. I know. That, that, that I've not heard a negative everybody, thing yet. Everybody says they've seen more and more on them in Grand Rapids Market. They love that thing. Yeah. And they just play with. I mean, with the tablet. <laughs> Boy, you, your mind's in the gutter I, I tonight, know, isn't it? Not, but, yeah, <laughs> they are playing with that tablet all night, and they really have fun with it. And so, and I, and I, I think more than once I have gotten an increased tip because of it. Oh, I'm sure of it. Yeah, I'm sure of it. It's, it would be hard to track that, but the one thing I don't like about it is, um, like, I turn the sound off during the day because right. I feel like people aren't in a party mood. You know what sure. I mean? I turn it on at night, but sometimes they have these jingles that go on way oh, too I long. Know, know. It's like 30 or 45 seconds. And I'm like, okay, I don't mind the sounds like tapping sounds, but like either it's an ad or something. I'm like, that's right. too much. Cause it annoys me. Like I'm driving around to my oh, next yeah. stop and it's like, you, and I even have the volume on the lowest volume and I can yep. still hear it. So yep. I yep. get it. I think the volume does engage people more when they're drinking. But when they're not, when people's going to work, they don't want to fucking hear that thing. I still think they should somehow come up with a way of making it be able to use that to also control the music in the car. That, be, would, that would be sweet. I don't know how they could do that, but. I mean, if you just allow for it to connect to some kind of a Bluetooth or something in yeah. the car, you know, that would just be sweet. People love that when I when I had the tablet. I think I'd be okay with that. I know we joke. I slapped somebody, but. You never actually did, but. No, I pushed your hand away though. I did right, make yeah. contact. I, I I think as long as I can control the volume, well, yeah, because absolutely. I don't want you know death metal going off or no, uh, you know, and we're this and we're that. I'm driving down the street. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we need to keep it at a reasonable level. Absolutely. Unless I say this is a great song, let's crank it up. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that is true. Um, that is true. Tom, how are you doing, buddy? Tom's and gonna Gabe and Larry. Tom's- so- Tom's going to ask about proxy picks. He'll send me a private text. I guarantee it. Okay. Uh, gig economy in the news. Uber uh, Uber Eats bot shares video with LAPD. Privacy current concerns rise. So a lot of times we share these articles. Then when I read them, I'm like, okay, let's calm the fuck down. So apparently they, I, I'll just dumb it down. Obviously these, these, uh, these things are all around in, in some of the uh, West coast cities. And basically they shared the video of someone trying to steal the robot. I mean, uh, yep. I would fully expect to do. And they got a subpoena for it. So, like, mm-hmm. what's the privacy issues? To me, the privacy issues is what else are they recording when they're just going about their day? Oh, like that would be weird for them to, you know, give that data to someone that we don't know if a crime has occurred, but we're just going to sure. view it. It, it kind of reminds me of I don't know if you know around Grand Rapids, they started adding um, license plate readers. Oh, sure. What do you feel about that? So, like, I know I drive by them. They're reading my license plate. I don't care. Well, of course, you're not committing crimes. But do you think it's a privacy issue like that? Nope. Because you're on the public road, so you're kind of, it's, yeah. yeah. But, see, I'm also not, I'm not one of the people who feel like Big Brother is watching. I don't care. And, And I think it's fine that. I mean, I understand what people are saying. I understand people are saying, you know, that all this stuff can be misused, that they should be doing these things because they are all doing it because they're all out to get you. I'm not generally that kind of person. I'm I'm okay. Like, come from a uh, from a country where, you know, the average American is going to call what we call Denmark for a, uh, what are they called? Uh, Like, a socialistic country and and all blah, 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 stuff. I'm okay with a system where, before you can get paid out your unemployment, you have to prove that that you uh, are looking for job. And guess what? In Denmark, they run the systems together. So the, go- the job banks are run by the government. And for you to get your unemployment, you have to go in and... Well, you, <laughs> you have to do that here too. Yeah, but you, it's not like they're run together. It, it is, you can cheat on the paperwork. Guess what? It's pretty hard to cheat in the system where it's all run together. They know That's true. whether I mean, or not you I, go in and take the interviews. <laughs> hypothetically, I may have have cheated on that several times well, that I was looking but, for work. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And, and and the average American will say, no, no, 
you know, I don't, I don't want people looking my looking over my shoulder that much. But you also have a system that can easily yeah. be mis- misused. Yeah, we're getting a little off track, but no, I, no. I, I understand what you're saying. I actually don't mind it as long as people aren't abusing it. Once they start abusing the information that they're getting, the license plates or whatever, right. like. I mean, I don't even know what they can do with that license well, plate information. Okay, we... you saw this car. I mean, other than a stolen car, obviously, right. if they scan it it's stolen, you've committed a crime. Like, Well, sure. Yeah, but I'd just be curious. But one thing I want to bring back with these robots, I thought this was interesting. They can carry up to 50 pounds and travel 12 miles an hour. That's pretty fast. It is. I, I, I don't know. I, I, thought, I thought it would go a lot slower, but flying down the sidewalks and stuff. But yeah, I mean, I guess without any policies in place, I think this can become an issue. Oh, sure. Uh, but I think the article was like a little like, um, calm your, calm yourself. Like it's right. be okay. So hello, Elena. New um, person we haven't heard about before. So, all right, go ahead. You're <laughs> up next. So this is a new, I guess it's kind of a gig, but it's also kind of a supporting whatever it's called. Righty. Um, and it's a vending machine in your car. You can oh. si- you can sign up to get. No way. Yeah, yeah, I didn't click on this thing. Yep. So it's actually we've had it before. Uh, some of the, some of these things. This is kind of a device you put on the back of your of your seats. This is awesome. <laughs> I know. I'm excited about. I I, I don't... always want to sell shit in my car. <laughs> so I don't know if it's actually in the Grand Abbots market yet. Um, Let's call them. <laughs> Uh, I don't believe that they are, but <laughs> but the idea is um, that that you have this device. It looks like a book holder, whatever the things you put behind your seats. Yeah, and then they scan. You get a barcode that's just to your 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 car, and then they buy it using the app, and it unlocks the zippers so they can get the thing out of it. So once you buy like a wow. Snickers buy, the the zipper gets unlocked, and you're able to open it. And that is it. some tech. It's very high tech. Now I did see that a hundred fifty dollar extra per month. Well, that's what. You, yeah, I, that you, seems you, a little. You gotta drive a lot. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, I'm saying that's a lot of work because you have, don't. You, I mean, well, you'll probably I, explain. I don't know how it all works because there's not that much information on the website yet. But I would, I would assume that they know what it sells and they automatically send to you once a once a week. How you know to put it back in? So obviously, you have to keep it there. You have to stock it and all those things. Um, but yes. I, I, it's weird. Righty, they're charging. Okay, I should have looked at this. We'll deliver the device, set up your shop, and manage the product list, prices, and stock. Passengers right. buy. Okay, but why does this say I'm on the? It says Righty Classic, thirty nine dollars. Why do I have to pay for this? So, so you have, oh, so you have to pay for this yes. thing? Yes. In this case, you pay for it to get the outcome out of it. Yes. That's stupid. <laughs> so now you're not excited anymore. Well, I'm not. Like, I don't want to. I mean, I don't mind investing a little bit, but I better make more than $150 a month. So they're still early enough in that thing. You can actually you can earn up to get ownership in it in Ridey. So so that's kind of oh. what they are there. And you can you can also invest in it. So it's pretty still pretty early. Um, as I said, the map on their website st- it points out Singapore as a, as a, as a, as a, the, the the city. So I'm wondering if there's not at all in in America yet. But um, but anyways, it's an interesting idea. It founded it in 2019. Um, and mm. we'll see if it ever comes over here. Yeah, I see they only have an uh, Google Play app. Yeah, not an an Apple app, huh? So, and right now it looks like they've been in a couple of Russian magazines and stuff like that. So they're getting some attention, but it's it's not yet in, in America. But I know we had, a couple of years ago, we had that uh, box you kept. In yeah, the of what the was car. that called? I never got one. It was getting close to getting to, to us, and then they, they I think what, Uber bought them and shut it down. Yeah, that's what it was. Uber bought them and shut them down, yeah. I don't know why Uber gets so high on their horse about being, like, such an elite service. Like, why did they shut it down? Like, Come on, people want. Like I said, I I wish I could set up something to have like Monster Energy on the way out on the Friday night, and then water on the way back. I mean, I'm sure I could do something, right? But it, it would be clunky. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, it takes a lot of effort to build something that's clean. As yeah. you said, this solution is actually pretty high tech. Uh, it's it's elegant and it's weird because I'm signing up. It says preferred service plan, Ridey Classic, three point five percent fee, thirty nine dollars for standard device. Right, so you have to buy the device. Okay, interesting. 
But uh, yeah. But anyways, I'm again. actually kind of excited about this. I've always wanted something that I could make money on and the passengers could be satisfied. Um, but you have to drive full time. I mean, I think well, like with everything else, for you to I really don't know. I mean, Octopus, I usually I I don't make a hundred a month on Octopus because I don't drive full but time. You have to pay a hundred dollars to get into Octopus. That's true. I mean, how long does it's going to take you to get that money back? I don't know. That's the thing. Right? So, hmm. What you know? Yeah. So, anyways, a good idea. But I think I think what we are seeing here, and the point I was trying to make with this is, slowly, some of these supporting services are coming to gig. Yes. And we just got to figure out, you know, the right solution. It's got to take off. Honestly, I think Octopus has been the best one. So far, it, it hasn't been. They haven't sold out. They're not clunky. They're, uh, it's not clunky. The app no. works good. I mean, I've been 100% happy with it. Absolutely. And, and it's so easy to install that that uh, the thing that you put on. I was super impressed. I actually first thought that I was just going to get like a, a latch or something like some kind of four straps. Yeah, but something, no, something cheap. You, yeah, you got to get a really nice wrap around on velcro your, it's super so hard you can velcro. adjust it yep. for your headdress if exactly. you have a big one or a small one and so the whole yeah the hole is there and then there's four plastic clamps on that thing you oh. put around it's actually really stuck yeah they they i think they put some real thought into having that that um, the tablet well mounted on on your car to me is i have uh i have cord management issues i need to figure out some sort of like clip system because i have to run mine to the well i run it to the front i guess i could plug it into the back but then i don't want it to get caught on people's feet so i wrapped mine in the seat did you so actually uh, i was able to fold the the uh the wire inside of the, the edge of the seat oh wow all the way down isn't and then- the seat sealed well, it is, but it's kind of edgy, so it, it hmm. I don't know, I guess it works. i have to see it, but, but yeah. anyways, um, and then at the bottom, it comes out, and I had a, uh, on my car, I have a, uh, a USB plug at the bottom, so it plugs right in. That's where you do it? Yeah, I, I avoided that because I didn't want someone to catch it with their foot. Well, but. they do. I mean, I, several times. <laughs> oh, really? I, it's just torn out. Oh, out. see, I've never had that because I do, yes. I plug it into my front. Elena says, uh. Oh, a couple. Of, oh, she has her set up with Octopus tablet, chargers on both back seats, and an extra tab on the left with movies. Damn, I wish I could sell stuff. Oh, oh, oh. that seems very high tech. Oh, oh yeah, it was called Cargo, a startup. Cargo, that's yeah, right. it yep. sets up many convenience concessions. Yeah, like mounted on your um armrest. And people were fussy about that because they didn't want to put their arm on it right. or something like that. Um, but. It wasn't lockable, so this with mounting it in the back seat. If you can't get it open, you don't have to worry about people stealing shit. Well, that's exactly it. It only opens. I mean, it's brilliant because the pockets I eat, I each just locked the 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 latch, whatever it's called, locks yeah. into it. Yeah, that's so cool. I'd, so I'd love to get idea. one just to good demo idea. it. So, um, <laughs> you hear that, right? We are the people to help you launch it in America. Yeah. Come on, bring it. It's called Ridey. Ridey, whatever. Um, I don't care what you call it. Just bring it. Well, Lena says your Uber driver may be soon selling you snacks. Maybe that's she, that's, that's for, from old reference one. to the righty. So, All right. Yep. Oh, I think it's pretty cool. Glitch Dash is from Comstock Park. Hmm. Nice. I do remember talking to him. Okay. Well, I want righty over here. Let's go. Let's send him this clip. <laughs> Let's go. Um. Okay. So you sent this to me, and I don't know. I don't remember saving this, but. Um, so well, this has actually come from the last month. Uh, last, so, show, last show. That, well, it doesn't matter. No, They didn't know about it anyways because no, you true. didn't have to bring it up. So, right. So why don't I take this one? Then you can take the next one because I don't remember what that's about at all. So so this is a story. Somebody on the, on the group said, I just made it to Diamond Driver. What are the real benefits and how do I make it work in my favor? And I just love the first comment. <laughs> it is, first get the free Costco membership. That's That's why. Is there a free it. Costco membership? Yes, there is. Oh, you I get didn't the know free, that. The free low level membership with with the um, with the Diamond Driver, but it's like it's the whole point is like there really is no benefit to this. To well, that. I mean, the third comment, the only benefit might be worth the bullshit Diamond comes with the the online tuition, which uh, Gabe is doing. Correct. No, absolutely. If you have plans for that, yes. But I also like this comment. Be sure to get your Diamond encrusted phone holder. That's great. That's a great. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's so tough. Like, right? I don't want to accept every ride just because I just don't think economically, as a part-time driver, it's it, no. it's worth it. Now, if you are full-time, I think there are some benefits. It, you know, and you got to remember. Uh, let me get this bullshit off. 
uh, you got to remember there is gas benefits to this stuff too. Well, like sure. you get eight, nine percent off. And if you got an EV, you'll get EV charging benefits too. So it's not all bullshit. No, I I get that. I get but that. But how much are you driving to get that EV benefit or so what I want to know is can I double dip? Can I do my upside and theirs? I don't know. Because I've heard well, Yeah, because I think it's just that you're using their Uber card to pay for it, right? That's I don't think you have to go to a specific gas station. So I think you can use your Uber card and get the 8%. Maybe, yeah. You know, the upside, I don't even use anymore, obviously. But um, I did notice the AI was, or the the UI was getting a little, or or AI was getting a little smarter. I would have to hide when I would go to the marathon station when I would take the picture that I got three cents off because it would deduct it from my (laughs) upside. Because if you join Marathon Rewards, even without upside, you get three cents off unless you like buy stuff in the store, you know? So automatically just pulling up three cents. Well, they started looking that I would get that and they would deduct it from my my earnings. Because they're like, well, you're already getting three cents off, so we're not going to give you 20 cents. We're going to give you 17. It's kind of stupid. I have not noticed if I did that, but yeah, I I still, I'm still using it. I'm over $120 in savings right now, so. Yeah, yeah. I don't ten, I think. But anyways, I mean, oh, I, really? I, make, I make like two to three bucks every time, and I think it's also because there's two gas stations, actually both of the marathon, very close to where I live, and why not drive right there and get my ten, fifteen percent off? I mean, yeah, 10, 15 cents a gallon off. I mean, some some negative people would say, well, they're just higher price, so that's why you're getting. But this they're time. not. That's the thing. Sometimes so, they are. Well, sure, but I actually look, and unless I want to drive to Jenison. Oh, I see. So I look at some of the other areas, yeah. And, and the closest other area was cheaper, because I use I use Gas Buddy too to compare yeah. it, and I use the what's on 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 uh, upside, not yeah. Gas Buddy. It's not called Gas Buddy, whatever it's called now. It's not called Gas Buddy. Anyways, whatever the app is called, but but yeah, quite often the marathon stations in my area right yeah. there is the cheapest, anyways. So why not take the extra ten ten? Oh yeah, uh, it's dumb not to do it. Right. Um. Yeah. I mean, my wife. We barely use gas anymore. She fills up like every 10 days. So it's like, it's not even worth it. You know what I mean? Because like for you when driving, but like she doesn't do any of that long, no, no. long driving. But um, so, yeah, Elena got diamond uh, or on Monday because they're offering a $250 bonus. Oh, bonus. She put in quotes. Yeah, right. I don't know. I think the college is worth it. I mean, if you can get a degree from it, I mean, fuck. Like, yeah. Is it Harvard? Is it like u of m no but it's a degree and honestly if you look at it no one gives a shit where you got your degree from they just want to make sure that you know that you got a degree like it doesn't matter they don't care about that so so hey glitch absolutely we'd love to have you on an interview just reach out to us at team at com. yep and we'll set something up absolutely the same with you elena we want to you know women on the show come on we don't have enough women on the show. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. It's a sausage fest up here. Uh, okay, moving on. I don't know what this is. I just saw it on Reddit, and like he got all these deposits of $9.99 into his account. Um, but as always, don't spend any of that. They're going to pull no, it back. No, don't put it back. You know, I heard stories where Uber- if it's real. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. That looks pretty real. I mean, but I'm fooled by Photoshop. <laughs> I'm a sucker. Um I've heard people that have gotten extra money from Uber, they take it in 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 payments. Like they don't just like if you got three hundred dollars extra, they're not going to drain your account by three hundred. They're like for the next six no. weeks, we're going to take divide three hundred by whatever. So at least for that, because that would be terrible. Like all of a I sudden know. you go to work and uh, you lose it would just be three hundred bucks. You start out in the hole. So I would hate that. Um, all right, moving on. Oh, moving on. so this is a new thing for Uber, which is like whatever. I think DoorDash did this too, uh, but I have never. Well, I can't get on DoorDash, but uh, so Uber is doing the packaging returns, and actually, it's new stuff too. It's not just returns. Sorry, let me bring this over here. Well, um, the part of this one was that they will let they will deliver you a return for you, right? That's the yeah, if you like had to return something from Amazon, they would right. pick it up. But you actually can do anything. You can send stuff. Like, oh, okay. like it's not just you're returning an item. You're like, I have mail. Basically, the gist of it, as long as it's prepaid, under 30 pounds, okay. and ready to go, like 
the driver obviously is not going to slap a label on there for you or anything. Literally, they pick it up and go. Um, it's five bucks for the customer. So what the fuck is the driver getting? If they're they're, they're if they're charging the customer five dollars, I mean Uber's got to take their cut. Like, is this is it going to be a two dollars? Two fifty. Right. I mean, fuck. So I, wait, so you're not taking it for two fifty? No, that's going to be a no for me, dog. Um, I don't know if uh, it doesn't say anything about tipping, uh, but you set it up, you know, just like you like an Uber ride and and but send it back. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest. Would you tip anybody for taking your pack? Yeah, I would not tip for that. I w- see. I don't understand that. Why not? They're using their car. That that we shouldn't look. We got to get past but, I mean, what I- they're doing, like. I'm not going to tip the garbage man because he gets paid a good salary and he's using the company truck. But even I'm going to tip the Uber driver because he's doing a service for me, so which is rea- great. Right. The reality and, is probably I wouldn't use the service. I think that's what it is. Well, we know that. You don't use DoorDash very often either, which is totally fine. It's not a cut right. on you. But like, yeah, I don't want to no, pay yeah. for the extra fees and stuff. But yes, you should tip that. That is a, a convenience to you. Right. And... He's using his car and his gas. And and, and that is true. And I, yeah. I shouldn't say I shouldn't say. Well, you're tip, also but... one that probably tips the Starbucks barista, right? When oh, they flip the screen I around. Do it. See, that's the problem. I you're know, the problem. I, I know. And I'm, what's, the pro- it's my, I'm the one. I know. And what's happening with people like you, which, by the way, my wife does the same thing. She tips everybody at those damn screens. Is when they are, they're getting frustrated with those. So when they go to a service like Uber, they don't tip either because they're like, fuck it. I'm already spending all this other money. You know what I mean? Right. So like you're creating a bad scenario for for places where you should tip. And I think I think the issue is, for me at least, the issue is the systems are doing an awfully good job at putting you on the spot. Oh yeah, it's awkward. And so it's awkward to say no. Yeah. And it's easy to say no on the app because you're not on the spot. Right. It's the whole I'll tip you in the app and fuck you. I'm not going to, right? Yeah. And it's it's that I'm not going to give you a dime because I don't have to. I'm not I'm not in front of you. I mean, so I think that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean it, yeah, you're not yeah, the person is standing right on the other I side know. of you. But honestly, I even if it says it doesn't give you an option not to tip, if I put custom zero enter and right. just fucking walk away, like I dropped the money, and it's not being rude. No, it's, it's not. just like, I mean, I'm sure you're getting paid fifteen to seventeen dollars right. an hour at Starbucks. Like, I mean, you're making coffee, like that's a good wage, right? And and honestly, if you really wanted to tip that person, you should hand them cash because when you tip on the that little device, it's divided with seven people. Right? They don't even know that you are tipping. No. And and you are correct. You are correct. I think the only way I'm I would stop tipping there. I'm done. Do it. I'm, I, I'm done tipping there. So everybody who buys something from me, it's Jason's fault. <laughs> I, I I think I think it's different when if you went to a local coffee shop, right? And you went there every oh, day, sure. let's say, and all of a sudden they start making your coffee when you come in and it's ready for you. You're gonna tip. But I'm gonna tip. Di- now it's different. It's not. It, it, you're right, and, but you are, you are correct, right? Because it's not that one time where you happen to drive through yeah. a Starbucks and the other side where you'll never go through yeah. again. Yeah, and, they're they're giving that personal service. They're like, right. hey, Jason, here's your coffee. You know what? You're getting extra money every fucking time right. because you you care for me. You Yeah, you care enough. Do you know what I want? Yeah. And, you know, it's about one time. So, you know what? Um, I don't want that today. Okay. Well, what do you want? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Exactly. That that yeah. is my only exception to the rule. Even though they are getting paid a fair wage, I will because I know you know Johnny every day hooks a brother up, right. and I'm going to reward you for that as you should. So, anyways, no, that's true. This what did what was it? What were we talking about? I don't know. Oh, the Uber. <laughs> I forgot. I like. I, was this a tipping article? <laughs> like it wasn't. Some. Anyway, it's the Uber Uber send whatever. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of um fee, or there's a lot of um cities. It's not just like five. Of course, Grand Rapids is one of, but Detroit. It's the major. Yep. Chicago, Connecticut, Honolulu. Honolulu. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, North Carolina, Raleigh, Portland. Like, there's a lot of lot of cities, but not yep. Grand Rapids, of course. So we're too small. Uh, we're always too small. Elena, I want to know what market you're in. 
All right, where are we at? Oh, our wonderful people. Absolutely. Uh, RMI Inspections is one of the sponsors of this show. They're an on-demand inspection for Uber and Lyft. I read that on-demand as I was creating the newsletter. I'm like, I guess it's kind of, it's not really on-demand. I kind of phrased that wrong after, you know, we've done six episodes on it. Because it's not on-demand. You have to schedule it. Right. But I mean, what I am what I meant to say, it's it's more like, uh, online, sure. uh, you connect with them, uh, you, uh, app of your choice, video chatting, looking at the car and they walk through everything that you need to do. You have to show them the car and walk around, look at all that stuff for $19. You're and, out the door. And only if they prove you, if they approve. Yeah. You. I mean, obviously, if you have a cracked windshield or right, a flat right. tire or, you know, your rear view mirrors falling off. I mean, they check the locks. They check to make yep. the seat belts work and everything. So uh, it's a great company. It's a great service. Uh, if you're tired of going to Bell Tire or any of the other places, uh, which they, Bell Tire does do it free, but they're always going to try to upsell you oh, with a bunch of other I shit. Hate, I hate that. Bull- I do too. Bullshit. I mean, if it obviously if you, if it's a huge safety issue, yes, you need to get it fixed. But most of the time, it's not. It's shit you can deal with, and it's right. not a big deal. But check them out. The link is in the description. Uh, just click on there, schedule it, and get it, your inspection done. Absolutely. Uh, I, I know I'm going to do that next time. Yeah. Um, I didn't know about them before. Before, and I actually, I'm now I'm in a situation I don't need inspections because my car is. Well, how long does that go? Like. Five years. Five years? So if, it's, it's, if it's newer than five years, no that's way. Mich- Michigan. Do you know how many miles I can put on that fucking car in five years? I know. Oh, I'll break 100,000. No problem. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, so I think it's I, th- I think it's actually a state to state. Oh. And I think Michigan has, if the car is, but it's, it's, not, it's not that you have owned it for five years. It has to have been newer than five years. Well, right. Yeah. So, so yeah. I bought my new. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's the yeah. thing. I yep. and this is my first new car. So five years. I'm just saying. You know how many miles I can put on that car in five years? A lot of miles. <laughs> a lot of miles. And you will. I will. <laughs> yeah. I've already. What have I traveled for business? But I'm um, What What's the rim shot for? Well, you just said it. I got to look it up. Just, I've driven twelve thousand miles for business this year. That's a lot. Holy smoke. That's yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. That, is that only in that one or is it total? Only Wait. in my car or my my new one? Your EV. No, 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 no. This is the whole year. Okay. So, so how many miles did you put on the EV so far? Well, total through life and work, I have 7,000 miles. <laughs> I bought it in the uh, end of July. That's not bad, though. No, I mean, it's 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 still That's still pretty cool. Cooking, but. Tennessee, Nashville. I bet that's a good city to drive in. Oh, right yeah. Now. Nashville. Nashville. Nash Vegas. That's what they call it. Nash now. Vegas. Yes. So next year, you're going to come to the picnic, right, Elena? Come on. Oh, you're not man. that far. You're not that far. No, you, you and Larry can carpool. Grand, Grand Evans is a cute little city. <laughs> Love Grand so, Evans. There you go. All right. Yep. Awesome. Your turn. No, my turn. This is an interesting uh, TikTok <laughs> it, video. It literally has nothing and, to do with gig work, but it's just well, kind of well, funny. So it was... It is not gig work, except for the fact that it is it's a it's a delivery driver. It is, and and I'm just, I was just dumbfounded when I saw it. So play the video, Sam. Sam. Yeah, play the play the play the man, Sam. Whatever. It was a joke. So whatever, just do it. You guys think I should keep this in when I edit the audio? Should I edit out his awkward jokes? All right, <laughs> here we go. So basically, for the how, how did he not know? I don't know. This truck was on so for our audio audio listeners, what's a Matt come out and he's like in his shorts? Oh, what the fuck! Give me the hose, honey. <laughs> yeah. So let, let the man take over. Here. Yeah, I know. Look at him. Look at him. He's like, move out. I got this. So for the audio <laughs> listeners, UPS driver comes, delivers a package. It's it's a weird. It's in the back of a work truck, but it's not a normal truck. It's like a utility truck. There's right. literally a fire in the bed. And it, like the UPS driver walks right. How did he not see that? Oh, I'm sure he saw. It. He just didn't give not a my problem. not my problem today. <laughs> I, I got I he got all these pra- yeah. packages delivered. I'm not waiting around for this shit. But yeah, I thought that was very strange that uh, that that he did that. So um, so I guess the takeaway is if you do happen to deliver a package and their, their car is on fire, please tell them. Please just <laughs> knock on the door. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. 
your car is on fire. <laughs> I feel like he was a welder or something. It was just something Maybe. smoldering that yeah. kind of caught. Because like the dude didn't freak out at all. She was like, oh, my God. The, the Spe- car- speaking of that, I have to tell you this real quick. Did you know you've heard all that that you shouldn't like whenever you do handle chemicals with a ra- with a rack, you shouldn't just throw away those racks, right? Oh, really? Yeah, because you start them on fire. They they will they will self yeah they they can will self ignite. Yep, yeah, they can. Huh. So I saw a YouTuber test that right with twenty different of those just standard liquids, whatever. Yeah, seventeen of them self ignited because. Well, what are the what what are the surround what are the elements around it that self ignites them? Well, like something's got to like no no it doesn't that's the thing if you just take a rag and let's say you have it with a cleaning uh, solution on yeah. it, like it's got to be something you know hard like if you are if you are uh, like lacquer thinner exactly something yeah. like that right something flammable if you take that and just throw it away if the conditions are right it will just self ignite well yeah that would say well what conditions did he put it around to make them do it he like if someone, I left someone, it he just put it in a bucket with a lid on. Oh really? That's it. I was say if I left it down in my studio, would it? It ignite? could. It could. Hmm. You can't just do that. You have to really. Yeah. And and Elena is not even heat. I would say if it has to be heat. If I fart on it, will it light? Sometimes, no. Maybe. But no, it, it was crazy. So many times that it actually did ignite. That is. It was you. You should well, just do not take take this lightly it well i wonder happen. when you see garbage trucks like explode or catch on fire it's something like that oh absolutely you know what i it mean like be, they, yeah. someone threw it in the trash you know what i was thinking of today what jason thoughts we should start a segment jason, jason thoughts. thoughts as uh the dump the garbage truck came to pick up my thing and i had two giant bags of dog poop in there giant because i have a big ass dog now yeah how much poop do you think actually goes to the landfill every day? Uh, I mean, people have dogs all the time. They're constantly scooping poop. I mean, so much poop. I'm guilty of that. Well, yeah. What do you do? You have to do it. So I looked into those. You put them in the ground. They like it breaks down. But there's so much work you have oh, to do. You have trust, to add. Me, trust me. I did that. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. You, no. Well, there, there's so much maintenance with it. You have to add you gotta powder. You feed them. You got to feed them with, 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 with chemicals. Germs. No, not Oh. It's it's a it's a it's a um, enzyme. It's an enzyme. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it doesn't work. Yeah, there's. I I'm glad I didn't do it because I was like, oh, I'm so tired of like filling bags of poop. When we lived on on Edith, I thought it was a good idea to try that. Okay, right. And we had a pretty big dog at the time. Yeah, right. Ah, couldn't keep up at all. Really? I mean, that thing was just full to the brim, and it was nasty. And then yeah. You had, then you had a rainy day, and you're like, oh. <laughs> poop coming up. Oh. Ah! It's already gross enough. It was so nasty. Yeah, yeah, no, don't do that. I all. bought a little dumpster because I I got tired of like uh, poop talk on the podcast. <laughs> I got tired of the poop missing the bag, so I have a little dumpster right. that I scoop it in, and then when it's full, I tie it up. But uh, anyways, I have a bucket, and I got a I got a special like uh, scooper, scooper. Yeah, I got and, that, and, and, a, and a shovel, special shovel and scooper. Whoa, and then... Wait, you put it in a bucket and you just dump it raw into the trash can? Absolutely. Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> you don't at least put it in a bag? No. Oh. Empty the bucket into the trash can, oh. and you're done. So, oh, <laughs> do you at least do it right before the trash comes. I do it a couple times during the week. So, but but then every time you open the lid, it smells like dog shit. Well, yeah, it's All a right. trash can. All right, moving on. Speaking of bodily <laughs> fluids, Elena doesn't know this about me, but she'll find out. So, I gotta give Sam. <laughs> I gotta give Sam uh, Samantha props. She sent me this. So literally, this it says "Piss Jug Man" is here. This is a character, you all. It's some guy with that looks like a piss jug, and he's got angry eyes on. Piss Jug Man is here till 6 p.m. day to teach truckers proper pee disposal. Jug Man is pissed <laughs> at all the jugs he found laying in the parking lot. You're in trouble if you don't dispose properly. <laughs> Kids can get their picture taken with Piss Jug Man for only $5 <laughs> from 4 to 6 today. And I'm like, I pee in Gatorade bottles, but I don't pitch them out. I dump the pee out and reuse it reuse and then it. wash it. But Once a week. You know what my takeaway take was with Piss Jug Man? Do you think this is sat- satire? Do you think this is a real thing? Oh, I think it's sad. a real thing. Again, do you know what my take my takeaway was? What's your takeaway? The lid was too small. It, there's no way that. They, oh, let me go back. It's just, I mean, obviously. Oh, God, no. 
That I'm not fitting my in there. I know. That's what, you got to use a Gatorade bomb. <laughs> I I see trucker bombs from like these. I know these things. Who's who's doing that? <laughs> who's getting like you have to even have the smallest pecker, or you have to have like the most incredible aim because otherwise if I peed in this, I would piss all over myself, <laughs> all over myself. <laughs> so now, 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 now you have to use a, a what are they called? <laughs> oh yeah. A funnel. A funnel <laughs> and the bomb. I don't want to deal with that shit. Just <laughs> give me a wide mouth Gatorade. It works just fine. <laughs> God bless me with the utility. So uh, yeah, piss jug, man. I, 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 I feel like I need to reach it reach out to them and i need i need a piss jug man i need a like a little thing we can put in the studio but you need like a wide um, a wide well amount. i'm not gonna use it i just want it for a souvenir oh god that got him he died over there he dying over there anyways uh oh we got the cough we know it's real when the cough happens oh piss jug man so Anyways. this one here was a story that you posted, and you have to talk about because I know yeah. I signed up. I don't know why you post. I, it so, wasn't that special. So, but look at the mileage and look at the cost. Well, yeah, I made twenty three dollars on a seven mile. That that is, I should have brought up an, an another one that was similar. I would normally make about eight bucks on that well, if I was lucky. Why is it so much? I looked at it. I went inside. It wasn't a reservation. It's a complete glitch. There's no tip attached to it. That was the upfront fare. Well, but it's nine seventeen at night, so that it was. No, there was no surge. Huh. I looked. I looked at everything. That was the normal fare, hmm. and I'm like, "What happened?" But you took it. Well, yeah, I shit my pants when I saw it. It was like <laughs> twenty four dollars for seven miles. Yes, please. I just and it didn't repeat itself. The rest of them were normal rate the rest of the night, oh, but okay. like I. I thought for sure it would have been like a reservation, but like they let you know when that's it. Oh, like absolutely. It's, yeah. it's, it was a complete fluke. It's like when John got those $6 ones or what those. And it wasn't that you had like a $10 attached to yourself first? No, I mean, I, I, I know I'm not showing it here, but I went and looked. There was no surge. There was not because okay. it would tell you if you had that well, yeah, $10 yeah, attached. Yeah, yeah. And plus, we know Uber. If I had $10 attached, they would just reduce it to like three bucks or something like the, the like three I'm bucks for a that. seven mile. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because yeah, they don't actually give you the surge anymore. So anyways, that's what was going on with that. So well, good. Good for you. You took it. Yeah. I mean, fuck. I'll take those all day long. Sorry. Got a text. Uh, moving on this, this is next one is interesting it you, literally and, isn't gig work again and there's no uh, whoops that's not what i meant to do there's no audio so i'll try to explain it once it's done uh basically an amazon driver leaves somehow leaves his car unlocked and it looks like it's an ev it's the electric one and if you have that fob in your pocket it's supposed to lock when you walk away so i don't know uh if they left the fob in the car, and that's why it was unlocked. But okay, yep. we'll, we'll watch it real quick. Yep. So she gets in. Apparently, it was a she. And wearing suspenders, I feel like she was at a wedding or oh, something. She was. She was drunk. She was hammered. Uh, I know. Gets in the Amazon car. Doors fucking wide open. The slider door. Going to town, driving fast. Turns the corner. Like okay, we're going. Loses control, goes flying out of the van, and it rolls and smashes into a building. Airbag goes off. And then see her over here on the side. See her? Where? In, in a look on the side of the door. You can see her. She'll run away. From oh, really? Yeah, in a moment. It's. Oh, yeah. See, there's. We'll walk away. Yeah, walk away. So you can't run. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, why would you do that? Because she was drunker than drunk. Yeah. I mean, so yeah, that is that is an electric van. One of the newer ones. The yeah. Rivian. Yeah. yeah. And it definitely should have he, well he, let me play that again i want to see if the door was open when he got in oh yeah the fucking door was wide open so th there's probably a, a human error hey for an order did you see that what he was there Wait, the driver yeah he looked up and he he walked away all right let's try it again on the right side see look look at the door he's there he is oh yeah he's like he just walked away but i mean what are you gonna do well, yeah, he was like, oh, so maybe, oh, I see him on the side with like, she, he's like, she drove what away. What happened? I wonder if, 
he was so close that the fob didn't disconnect? Maybe. Wow. And she just took the car. Oh, my God. Oh, what is wrong with her? You're going to go to jail for that. I hope she it's a five year felony. Of course, she's not going to do five years. I mean, she might if she has a, a criminal record, but holy uh, cow. I'm telling you. So, yeah, Elena, thank you so much. And we want you to come back all the time. And we always love having new people here. We've been doing this for five years now. Do you remember that? Can you imagine that, Jason? Five years. We haven't been live streaming for five years. It's but true. Was, our but first show- episode was uh december of 17 17 so yeah. go back and listen to some of the other oh, shows God. we had a lot of fun uh this year what did we decide was it the fifth of the fourth or the fifth uh, uh picnic this year i think larry said it was the fifth i think it was the fifth yeah anyway so anyways we do we have a lot of fun so we do um all right Gary Middleton, Middleton Tech. Uh, these are the three apps that he has. Flex Alert in the middle. That's for Amazon. Um, that's if you want to know when routes drop. Yep. Uh, on your right side of the screen is Drive Utility Helper. That's for DoorDash. And on the left is Maximo, which I still use today. Uh, that one how it works for Uber, Lyft, and Grubhub. Fully customizable, anything except Flex Alert. The only thing Flex Alert does is let you know on routes. The other two right. is fully customizable. You can uh, auto accept uh, everything you can auto decline everything that it's sky's the limit. The link is in the description. If you click on that link and sign up, we do get a little bit of money for that. So if you love the show and you have not used those apps before, I, I encourage you to at least take a look at it. Uh, go to, you know, click the link in the description, go to his website, uh, and, uh, check those out. Absolutely. Yeah. I know when I, when I drove and I multi apped, then it, they're very, very beneficial right now. I am both on both. But I find I'm not. I don't. I don't multi app. Well, I do, I, I'm I, on both too. But it, I mean, Lyft doesn't give me a dollar for the EV. Right, right, right. right this right. past weekend, literally, no bonuses, no quests, no nothing, no streaks. So it's like, what well, why would I on? even go to Lyft? I, know, I didn't I even look at it. I know. So and later when I'm out driving, I'm just fighting for the Uber, the Uber Quest, and so yeah. I don't have time to also do Lyft. God, though it's so. it's so one thing I noticed with last weekend. While the um, well the quest was a little low, there was almost every hour had a little bit of like two fifty right. extra. So it, it kind of worked out. Oh, sure. the same because usually when the 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 quest is, they're probably testing an algorithm. You just gotta you just gotta start them in the in the kidney of Grand Evans. Yeah, <laughs> which is you know it's pretty good size. Yeah, they yeah, do yeah. give you a lot of room. But have you noticed that just the Bridge Street is not in there? Yeah, why is that? <laughs> It's Why like, is that? Hot, the hot spot of the Bridge Street hot spot is just not in there. That is so strange. I <laughs> noticed that too. It's the dumbest thing. Like that's busy <laughs> AF over I know. there. That's probably why. It's oh, you so think busy so? That they don't want that area. <laughs> Maybe they're trying to keep get you to go a little bit on the outskirts of downtown to pick up rides. Uh, it's Something just like that. Funny. So, anyways, this next one was actually also just uploaded to to the group. We have yeah. kind of a group chat. I don't, I'm not sure why, well, but it just it's just funny to me because I see this ad. It's an ad for DoorDash, and it says, "Be a dasher in Grand Rapids. No car, no problem. Grab your bike or scooter. Where are you going to fucking deliver on a bike or a scooter in Grand Rapids? <laughs> I, I mean, I guess you could go to some if downtown. You're only downtown, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the the pickup happened to be downtown, and the deliver. I mean. I guess you could do it, but are they, do they have parameters set up so that they don't give you one that's going to Comstock Park from downtown? I remember one time when I, when I, like one Saturday I was, I was delivering, I ended up picking up an order at a, at a Chili's on 56th Street and deliver it downtown. Yeah. Good luck with doing that on scooter. Oh yeah. Well, that's my point. I'm hoping there's some, some parameters set up that they know you're on a scooter and it's going to take me four and a half hours. Oh my God. (laughs) Get on a lime bike. (laughs) I mean, again, if you could just do downtown maybe, but even still, I mean, imagine taking a scooter from, uh, Stella's to college and, um, Michigan. Right. So, I mean, it's still, I mean, it's still going to be 25, 30 minutes before you get there, if you're lucky. Can you imagine me on a scooter up that hill? <laughs> Please, somebody get a video of Jasper on a scooter up Michigan Hill in the winter. I know. It's not going to happen. Those fucking scooters. 
I I am so waiting for one to just fall in front of me. When I'm driving during the weekend, it's so oh, I know. the 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 I don't know if it was last weekend or the last time I drove where it rained a lot. Maybe yeah, I think it was Friday. It yep. rained all day. Yeah, tons of rain. Tons of rain. They're fucker out on the scooters. Oh, I know. I'm like, are you got a death wish? So I I mean, I used to see those scooter accidents every weekend when I was out driving. It was almost every weekend. I yeah. Did. So I had that I've had that talk with several people in my car and there was one person who I think they actually came from Nashville, and they said that they have the scooters, but they solved the scooter problem by turning them off at 10 o'clock. Oh, really? Yeah, so you can't rent them after 10 o'clock. That's That's great. That's a brilliant idea. I know. It's like, because... Because you get drunk. I know. I mean, obviously, you're day drinking. You can still do it, but the the amount of accidents probably happens like after ten. Turn those fuckers off at ten o'clock. That's well, all I can say. I mean, good on the company for doing that, or maybe the city council is like, I hey, don't know what it was. Yeah, you got to do this because we're gonna having too many accidents, huh? But yeah, that's, that's what idea. they should do here because I I see them. I mean, all those idiots at two a.m. in the morning, Saturday night or whatever Sunday morning, just. They're just flying in and so out of traffic. It's funny because I don't work that late anymore. I bet it's a shit show. It's already a shit show when I'm driving. I know. But you're right. They get out of the bar and they're like, oh I don't want to. Can you imagine? Like, because because the surge was too high. They're like, oh, I'm just going to take a scooter to to Allendale. To Allendale. <laughs> I have seen scooters oh, way me too, far down too. and, and line bikes. But shit. Oh, I hate them. I think we're going to end it there. It's a good, uh, the next good article spot. is like me, yeah, but we are going to go on Patreon at nine ten PM. Uh, so that's in nine minutes. I forgot. We started a little bit late tonight. So, yep. Uh, check us out there. Uh, the $10 tier, uh, gets access to the, to the live streams. Patreon so. con Patreon. Pa- what was that? Patreon.com Patreon. slash the, the gig, the gig econ. Econ podcast. Yeah. I just go there and search for us. Yeah. I figure like well, we need to like change it just to gig podcast instead of the gig con. Like, we need to dumb it down a little bit. So. Hey, John, you're late. We're about done. Yeah. <laughs> John, join the $10 tier on Patreon. You can come stream with us. All right, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks it's been so a much. Pleasure. Yep. Have a good night. We'll see you next Bye-bye, week. Guys. This podcast is produced and edited by Hey Guys Media Group. Want to start a podcast? Check out HeyGuysMediaGroup.com. 